So we see that milk without baking soda has a pH value of 6 which becomes elevation color. But when we add baking soda to it, it becomes slightly alkaline and has a pH value of 8. Good 
morning everybody all the honorable learned members of science department learned teachers dear students today we are celebrating science day though it is not february 28 all we are celebrating now we are not given this day unless because it is a very important day that we have to celebrate this and understand the importance one student the teacher everybody spoke about the importance of this day why this day is chosen to be celebrated as national science day the reason what was the importance that why this day is only celebrated the story behind it everything if you have paid attention you might have understood the importance of this day celebration i am not going to say something new but something little different and that or be stuck only after sitting here and listening to my learned colleagues uh, messages thanks to venkateshwar sir for uh, you know helping me learn two three new things about only blue color appearance of the sky and even the limitations of our eyesight and all thank you sir so as sir said though all the lights are all the colors are there and first of all before that i would like to know why we should celebrate this day that is one thing is very sure that we have to honor our great scientist for his great contribution to the field of science that is number one that's our responsibility second is to bring awareness in the people about the science its the contribution for the progress and development of the world not just only country second is to popularize the use of science and technology in our daily lives yes or no another thing is to give opportunity to young young scientists like people who are our own children young students to showcase their new ideas and the scientific uh, knowledge behind every activity and behind things that are happening that we see in, in our daily life just now one child explained the ph value how it increases and how how it increases by adding so is it is making sense and uh, using the same words of physics inertia and also scattering of light i request all the first class and 10th class children in action here that don't be in the state of inertia okay you have to be in the state of motion and see only blue color that is your examination is it clear and also red color problem huh? though examinations are in may let us not think that they are far may march and april will fly off in few minutes like a few minutes so please see your target which is not far away and also keep yourself yourself in in the state of energy of motion and prepare for the examination we have enjoyed in our uh, in our online classes from home without writing without studying isn't it almost it was like energy of what rest okay so now wake up pull up your sleeves let us prepare for the examination and we have even the limitations of our i said and all thank you sir so as sir said though all the lights are all the colors are there and first of all before that i would like to know why we should celebrate this day that is one thing is very sure that we have to honor our great scientist for his great contribution to the field of science that is number one that's our responsibility Second is to bring awareness in the people about the 
science is a contribution for the progress and development of the world, not just to only continue. Second is to popularize the use of science and technology in our daily lives. Yes or no? Another thing is to give opportunity to young, gen young scientists like people who are our own children, young students, to showcase their new ideas and the scientific uh, knowledge behind every activity and behind things that are happening that we see in our daily life. Just now one child explained the pH value, how it increases and how, how it increases by adding soda. Isn't it? Making soda. And uh, using the same words of physics, inertia and also scattering of light. I request all the 12th class and 10th class children to bring awareness in the people about the science, its contribution for the progress and development of the world, not just only country. Second is to popularize the use of science and technology in our daily lives. Yes or no? Another thing is to give opportunity to young, gen young scientists like people who are our own children, young students, to showcase their new ideas and the scientific uh, knowledge behind every activity and behind things that are happening that we see in our daily life. Just now one child explained the pH value, how it increases and how, how it increases by adding soda. Isn't it? Making soda. And, uh, using the same words of physics, inertia and also scattering of light. I request all the 12th class and 10th class children in actions here that don't be in the state of inertia, okay? You have to be in the state of motion and see only blue color, that is your examination. So develop interest and with sciences, pure sciences only that we can progress world and progress. Technology is only helpful. But real things come with pure science only, with your creativity. So think from those lines, everybody cannot become IT professional. So think about sciences also and there are many, many avenues waiting for you. Think big, think new. Okay? But don't think new for examinations. Follow our instructions. Okay? So once again, I would like to thank the members who had organized this, the science department and other people who are behind the curtain. Uh, thank you so much for uh, organizing this day and making this a good program. But students, remember the Ramana effect in a different way. Okay? Thank you. Now I want to share one information that a link will be shared after this program. I request all class teachers to share the link with their respective classes so all students of our Vidyalaya can see National Science Day program and various activities done in science. Now I request On the occasion of National Science Day, on behalf of Science Department Kendri Vidyalaya Bolaram, I welcome you to see the upcoming videos that has been made by our students. In these, they have done slogan writing, drawing, documentaries, some projects and some activities related to science. We hope You'll enjoy all these activities. Thank you and have a nice day. Good morning to everyone, respected principal ma'am, teachers and my dear colleagues. Today I am telling about National Science Day. On this day we show our dignity and respect to the famous Indian physicist to mark his discovery of C.V. Raman effect. C.V. Raman was born on 7th November 1888 at Tiruchipalli, Tamil Nadu. His father was a lecturer in physics and maths. 
Raman was the first person to research such an invention in India. He worked from 1907 to 1933 in Kolkata at the Indian Association for Cultivation of Science, doing research on so many topics in physics, of which Raman effect became his great success, his discovery marked as notable achievement in Indian history. Now we are going to do, do this experiment. For this, I am uh, now to explain the law of inertia. I am calling Manish. I, Manish of class 9C, standing before you to explain the law of inertia. The law of inertia explains that when an object was in rest, it wanted to be in rest, and when an object is an in motion, it wants to be in motion unless unbalanced external force acting on it. Thank you. Thank you, Manish. Now to do this experiment, I am going to call Vivek. I am Vivek of class and I am standing for you to show this experiment. So that was the experiment. When the egg was in resting position, it wants to be in resting position and when we strike the clay, the egg falls into the water. Hello everyone, I am Padura Vashita from class 9 and I would like to share the importance of science in our daily life. Science is a great blessing to mankind. Science started back when we imagined and wondered what rubbing sticks would do. Science, since then, we have completely depended on science and nothing is possible without the application of science like transport, communication, education, uh, entertainment, industries and even our health. Technology is nothing but application of science. Today, we have well advanced treatment for all kinds of diseases like cancer as well. In transportation, we have bullet trains, jet planes, aircrafts, etc. We can reach our destination within no time. We, uh, we can sit at home and we can communicate in, in uh, any person in the world. All this is possible due to the science. The best example is our online classes, which we have. Though we, we are not able to attend regular classes due to the technology, our education is not hampered. Thank you, science, and thank you, everyone. Good morning to all of you present here. I am Aralisa of class 9C, and we are here to show you a documentary on the topic, The Beginning and the End of the Universe. We are very glad to celebrate National Science Day on this pandemic situation to all. Good morning, ma'am. I am Sanjana of class 9C and this is my documentary on the beginning and the end of universe. So let's begin with the beginning of the universe. There are many different ideas for how a universe began, but the most popular one is the Big Bang Theory. So the Big Bang Theory was first proposed in the 1920s saying that the universe started out super small. From its tiny beginnings, the universe stretched and expanded until it became as big as it is now. According to NASA, if we look at the universe one second after the Big Bang, we would most likely to see 10 billion degrees C of particles such as neutrons, protons and electrons. As everything expanded and took up more space, it all cooled down. Particles grouped together and formed atoms. These atoms gave birth to stars and galaxies and molecules and eventually the universe, which was filled with planets and a lovely people. 
and that's not all our universe could still be expanding and stretching and might do so for a long time maybe forever now let's think why the big bang theory is the leading theory do we have any proofs well around the same time that the big bang theory was introduced edwin hubble made an interesting observation he observed that other galaxies were moving away from us in all directions not only that but the farther apart galaxies were from us the faster they would seem hubble's observation so important because it showed that the universe is still expanding if things are moving apart it stands to reason that they were once closer together the discovery of cosmic microwave background helped to give credit to the big bang theory since big bang says that our early universe was a very hot place that eventually cooled now let's think how the universe would end and really do we know how our universe is going to end cosmologists have many reasons but the famous one is called the big freeze imagine two objects representing galaxies a short tight rubber band is holding them together that's the gravity meanwhile two hooks are pulling them apart that's the repulsive force expanding the universe copy this system over and over again and you have something approximately the real universe the outcome of the battle between these two opposing forces determines how the end of the universe will play out the big freeze scenario is what happens if the force pulling of the object apart is just strong enough to stretch the rubber band until it loses its elasticity the expansion wouldn't be able to accelerate any more but the universe would keep getting bigger clusters of galaxies would separate the objects within the galaxies suns planets and solar systems would move away from each other until galaxies dissolved into lonely objects floating separately in the vast space the light they emit would be red shifted to long wavelengths with very low faint energies and the gas emanating from them would be too thin to create new stars the universe would become darker and colder approaching a frozen state also known as big chill we really don't know what the universe is and how big it is When you look up at the sky it can feel like the universe is big blanket of stars above you but unlike a blanket the universe doesn't have corners and edges far beyond what humans can see the universe keeps going as far as humans know it never stops we don't really know how the universe will end different cosmologists have different ways we don't know what exactly will happen in the future
Good morning everybody. Today I Priyanka Kumari of class 7th day is here to speak about National Science Day and Sir C V Raman. India celebrates National Science Day on 28th February to commemorate the discovery of the Raman effect by a great Indian scientist Dr Chandrashekhar Venkata Raman or C V Raman. Sir Chandrashekhar Venkata Raman, popularly known as C V Raman, was born in Tiruchapalli in Tamil Nadu in November 1888. Raman served as an accountant under the Department of Finance of the Indian government. He was elected to the Royal Society of London in 1924. At the time of Raman's graduation, there were few opportunities for scientists in India. This forced him to accept a position with the Indian Civil Services as an assistant accountant general in Kolkata. His love for science, enthusiasm to work, and curiosity of learning new things made him immensely interested in the study of sound. When he was 18 years of age, one of his first research was published in the Philosophical Magazine of England. Later, another paper was published in the scientific journal Nature. Sir C. V. Raman received many honors from all over the world for his achievement. In 1928, the Science Society of Rome awarded him with Metyukaki Medal. The British conferred the knighthood in 1729, and from then on, he came to be known as Professor Sir C. V. Raman. The following year, he was honored with the prestigious Hugus Medal from the Royal Society. Honorary doctorate degrees were confirmed on him by the universities of Freiburg in Germany, Glasgow in England, Paris in France, Bombay, Benares, Patna, Mysore and several others. In 1930, the Swedish Academy of Sciences chose Raman to receive the Nobel Prize for Physics. He was the first Indian, most preciously first Asian to have received this award in his days. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Sai Dinesh from class 70. Today I am going to perform an experiment on the occasion of National Science Day. The topic of my experiment is inflating a balloon by Eno. So to do this experiment, the things you need are a plastic bottle, a funnel, if you don't have a funnel, you can cut the top of the plastic bottle to get a funnel. Like this. Okay. So, next you need some, you know, packets. I am taking 5. You can also take 5. 
or more than two. Okay, and you also need a balloon. Okay, now let's start the experiment. To start the experiment, first step we need to fill this bottle, 250 ml, as we use five inner packets. So I have filled the water, 250 ml, and now. We should pour the eno into this balloon by using the funnel. Okay, so let's pour. To do that, first of all, we need to open the mouth of the balloon and put it into the mouth of funnel. Okay, like this. Okay, now let's pour the eno. Into this balloon. So you can see that I have poured the five packets of ino in this. Now let's remove this from the funnel. And now we should put this on the mouth of the bottle and pour it. You can see the balloon is inflating. So you can see the color of water has become green color, and this balloon got inflated. The reason why this balloon got inflated is when you pour the eno into this water, the reaction creates to make carbon dioxide, and the carbon dioxide. Gas was trying to escape, but this balloon was there, and then the carbon dioxide went into this balloon, and this balloon inflated. So this was our experiment. Thank you everybody for your support. Hello everyone. This is Nikhilesh from class 8D. I am Ananya of class 8D from K B Balaram. Today I made some questions on the occasion of. National Science Day. So Ananya, what is your first question for me? Your first question is: When was Dr. C. V. Raman awarded the Nobel Prize for Raman Effect? In the year nineteen thirty. Okay, it's correct. So your next question is: Why we celebrate Science Day on twenty eighth February? We celebrate Science Day on twenty eighth February because on this day, Dr. C. V. Raman got his Nobel Prize. Yes, you are correct. And your next question is: When was National Science Day first celebrated? I think the answer is twenty-eight February nineteen eighty-seven. Yes, you are again correct. And your next question is: For which discovery, Doctor C. V. Raman won Nobel Prize? Scattering of light. I think so. Ah, uh, it's the right answer. And your next question. When was Dr. C. V. Raman awarded Bharat Ratna? I'm not sure, but I think so in 1957. Uh, almost, but the correct answer is 1954. Oh. So your next question is: C. V. Raman established the Indian Academy of Sciences in which place? It's so easy, Ananya. The answer is Bangalore. Okay, you're correct. So your next question is. On which day, uh, Dr. C. V. Raman was born, and at which place? Uh, I don't know the date, but I do know the place. It's Trichinopoly in Tamil Nadu. Yes, you are correct. And the date is seventh November, eighteen eighty-eight. Oh, okay. And your next question is, what is the fu full name of C. V. Raman? 
I think so that Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman. Yes, you are correct. And your last question is, in which year Dr. C. V. Raman was awarded by the Lenin Peace Prize? Uh, I don't know the answer. Uh, okay, the answer is 1957. Okay. Good morning, my name is Sitika. Today, me and my classmate Samruti are going to give a small speech on National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated in, in India every year on 28th of February. But why do we celebrate this day? What is the main aim of it? The day commemorates the invention of the Raman effect by the great Indian physicist Sir Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman. It was on the same day that Sir Raman made the, made to the world his greatest invention. The Raman effect in the year 1928, he was awarded an honor in the year 1930 with the Nobel Prize in the Physics for his great success in the field of science in India. On this day, we show our dignity and respect to the famous Indian physicist to mark his discovery of the Raman effect. C.V. Raman was born on 7th of November 1888 at Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu. His father was a lecturer in physics and maths. Raman was the first person to research search and invention in India. He worked from 1907 to 1933 in Kolkata at the India Association for the Cultivation of Science, doing research on so many topics in physics, of which the Raman effect became his greatest success. His discovery marked a notable achievement in Indian history. Now Samruti is going to take over. Thank you. Generally, the festival incorporates open discourse, indicated programs, and science displays depended on subjects, ideas, without us, and experience. Also, different honors are given by the administration and non government bodies to perceive the endeavors of people for the promotion of science in the nation. The day is praised as a science fair perceiving the logical activities and projects in the nation. The occasion that done during this National Science Day festivity, giving a platform to various science newcomers. The Minister of Science and Technology conveys messages to students, researchers, specialists, and everybody in the country. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Varshita. Today I am going to talk about science. Science is my favorite subject in school. I love science because I find it interesting to learn all about the world and its history beyond the surface. Science leaves a mystery for me but also at the same time explains everything in great detail. I like science because it challenges ideas that we think are right. It makes us push our understanding and want to know more about everything. There is always something new and interesting to discover and the journey to get there can be really exciting. What is basic science? It's all about understanding how cells work, nature and many more things. How is science exciting? It's a way of discovering what's there in the universe and how they work. Scientific knowledge can improve the quality of life at many different levels, from the routine workings of our daily lives and many more things. Thank you. Have a happy Science Day. The materials are layer, ferric, straw, water bottle, glass, paint, and bed. Yeah, as Chaitanya told about materials, let's start. First, we need a bottle. Make a hole on bottle with a blade. Now you can see I did a hole here. Now put a straw inside a hole. Make sure that the straw have to stick. Now you can see I have stick the bottle. Now take a glass of water. Put inside a bottle. Now take a balloon and blow. You can see I have blowed the balloon. Now twist the balloon once top on the bottom. Now you can see water is coming out. This was
discuss our experiment. The experiment name is Water to Air Pressure. Good morning everyone, my name is Ammo Idip of class 9th day. In Vidhali Bolaram, on the behalf of Technology for Toys, I have made a working model which is a vacuum cleaner. Introduction, vacuum cleaner is one of the handiest household, uh, household uh, household appliance which is used to clean particles like dust, dirt or small particles and which it is used in various surfaces like mat, carpet, sofa etc. and it was first invented in 1901 by British engineer Hooded Sessis Boot and uh, American, uh, inv uh, Amer American inventor uh, David T. Kenny who coined the name vacuum cleaner the principle behind the vacuum cleaner it, the, it works on the principle of Bernoulli's principle, which is uh, which is uh, which is speed when the speed increases accompanied by the pressure decreases. The materials used for the vacuum clean, vacuum cleaner are cases, cases, uh, battery, switch, wire, motor, fan, muslin cloth. And glue at the required points. Glue at the required points. Brief explanation about my project. When the fan runs, the low pressure area created at the end of the hose than the atmospheric pressure of the room. And the air, the air, then the atmo, then the high, the high pressure air. Uh, enters into the inlet hose of the vacuum cleaner with the dust and dirt particles of around the uh, dust and dirt particles of, of the surrounding enters into the inlet hose and settles down at the chamber provided in the vacuum cleaner and now i am going to show how my work uh, how my vacuum cleaner going to work Connect it, connect it first of all. Conclusion. The vacuum cleaner is a working toy model. Working toy model and it is used in our daily life. It helps us to promote Swachh Bharat mission. And it is a miniature toy model. And it helps my fellow students to understand the principle behind the vacuum cleaner vacuum cleaner further it is not hazard and the technology behind the vacuum cleaner is very easy and understandable by everyone thank you namaskar my name is gangu shailaja of 6th c today i am going to sh show you two experiments on air for the first experiment, we need an empty glass, a balloon, a straw, a water bottle and some colored water. You can take it some normal water too. Now, we have to keep a hold to the water bottle and place the straw in the hole. Now let's pour the color water Now let's blow the balloon I have blown the balloon 
Now let's place the balloon on the mouth of the body. I kept the balloon on the mouth of the water. Now let's leave it. You can see the water from the bottle is coming out by the help of the straw. It happened because the more highest pressure in the balloon. The when we keep the infinity when we keep the infinity balloon on the top of the bottle it this will press the water down and it will the water will come by the help of the straw and make a little fountain thank you good afternoon in sriram of class 7c i am going to present a toy which represents the internal organs of the human body This is a circulatory system. The veins are in blue color and the arteries are in red color. The arteries and veins are responsible for carrying blood throughout the bo body for delivery of for for delivery of uh, oxygen and nutrients. These are the muscles of the body. This is a human skull. The human skull is responsible for protecting the human brain from damage. Brain. This is a rib cage. This is like a shield for the lungs and the human heart. These two brown beans like structure are the kidneys. This is how the in, this is how the inside of the kidney looks like. And this from the food pipe to the large intestine. This is the digestive system. This long thin pipe is the food pipe. When we eat food, the food travels from this pipe to the stomach. This is the liver. This is the pancreas and this is the stomach. And this large pipe like structure is the large intestine. And the small tubes inside the large intestine is the small intestine. These are the lungs. The lungs are responsible for breathing. This is the esophagus. The air goes from the esophagus to the lungs. This is how the inside of the lungs look like. This is a human heart. The human heart is responsible for pumping blood to the body. And this is how the inside of the human heart looks like. 